When you work with a firewall, you often use different objects. Uh, this could be a printer, a PC, a server, or even a full subnet. Now, each has its own properties, IP address, and more. Let's use a text editor and an automation stitch to import file address object directly into your FortiGate file. Coming up. All right, so here we are at our FortiGate. I'm using 7.02, which is the latest version. And let's just move to security fabric and automation all right there we are now here we have different stitches but before we continue let's just move i'm using google docs you can use just about any text editor to configure the different file address objects now uh, be clear on the syntax since it is uh, very sensitive. You just have to have the right syntax. Don't use any shortcuts. Config file address. Add it the object that you wish to add. Its IP address. Uh, and then next to the next object. Now here I'm using a printer, a server, two PCs, another server, and a NAS object. All right, once we do so, let's just save it as a text. And let's just uh, move back to our 40 gate, create new. Now let's name our uh, stitch. Let's name it uh, object firewall. And let's add a trigger. Our trigger will be a reboot of the machine itself so let's just apply that so once you reboot your 40 gate all the um, different objects will be added the second thing to do is to add the action itself now here we need to add uh, a new cli script action so let's just uh, get to the cli script let's just name our script the same as we did before, objects firewall. Uh, you can play around with a different configuration. Here you will upload the file that you have just created. So let's uh, just look for the firewall objects one text, which is the file itself. And here you can see the CLI script. You need to choose the uh, administrator profile. So I'm the super admin. I'll do uh, I'll choose the super admin and okay let's just add that and there we have it we have a trigger it can be a schedule trigger I've chosen the reboot trigger and the action is to import the file address objects to my machine uh, following a reboot so let's just press OK and now let's reboot our 40 gate and wait for a while and once it boots up and loads you will see the new firewall address objects that you can actually use on your firewall policy let me just move to my virtual machine system is starting it will only take a second all right so let's just move back let's refresh that's it all right And now let's move to our policy and objects, addresses, and let's see, and there we have it. We have the two PCs, we have the printer, we have two servers, and we have a NAS machine. So now, once we create our firewall policy, we can actually use our uh, different objects 
using destination here, PC1, PC2, printer, different servers, and of course the same goes for the source itself.